I feel like I'm a little girl at a party who's, whose dad's asking her to leave early and I'm throwing a fit. I'm not afraid of dying. Um, I just don't want to go. My name is Kara Tippetts. I'm 38 years old. I have four amazing children and one excellent husband. Let's get over. And I have been battling cancer for the last two and a half years. Her last two years have been uh, very stressful. Now having her enter hospice and thinking through what it's going to be like to live life without her. Kara is... Kara before cancer was. <laughs> I, I memorized that one. Vivacious and amazing. <laughs> and... No, no, I answer it. Okay. You don't get I was helping you. She has always been very beautiful to me. Her fun personality. And she always loved whoever was in front of her. You're talking about me in the past tense. My mom's hair fell out because of chemo, I think. I had really long, beautiful blonde hair, and I didn't realize how um, valuable it was to who I was until I lost it. It made me shy in a way I'd never been shy. Who am I without hair, without breasts, without a uterus? Am I still, am I, do I still have value? Mm -hmm. This is not supposed to be the story. The world says I should be angry, that I should be shaking my fist at God, but I want to be able to share this story that suffering isn't a mistake and it isn't the absence of God's goodness because He's present in pain. I got something in my hand. My mom has cancer and she's had it for um, she's had it for a while and now she's going to have it for the rest of her life. In the beginning we just decided to speak honestly and frankly with the kids not give them too much that their age can't bear. But all of them now know that mom's dying and that I have cancer. I don't want you to go. I know. Um, we all want more time. We all pray for more time. Uh, seeing her um, give back to people and, and to write her book has inspired me. Um, she's shown me what love is. I don't want her to leave. I don't want her kids to be without her. I don't want Jason to be without her. I don't want this world to be without her. Jason shows me the best of what life has to offer, mostly in encouraging me to fight for a soft heart. I know I've got cancer. I know I'm gonna die of it. Um, but I also know that I have today, and, and in this today, I get to live well.